Gareth Bale has often used the wide areas to great effect. In the ways of the week, I'm tired, I'm Selamat datang lagi di AFFG dan yap kali ini dan kembali lagi memainkan series Leicester City Care Mode FIFA 20 dan untuk hari ini sebenarnya harusnya kita nggak usah upload video tapi karena ini ada dua pertandingan melawan Manchester City dan Liverpool sama-sama big match jadi aku paksain tampil di hari Senin sekalian juga kan banyak yang libur karena virus corona jadi untuk mengisi video di hari Senin ini langsung kita mainkan series Care Mode FIFA dan yang pertama jadi pertandingannya akan kita pisah melawan Manchester City dan Liverpool Sebenarnya rencananya aku mau mainin dua pertandingan ini langsung dalam satu video Tapi untuk mengisi jadwal kosong yang ada pada hari Senin Maka langsung kita majukan seri Scarlet Mode FIFA Dan untuk musuh kita di pertandingan ini yaitu Manchester City Sekarang mereka berada di peringkat ketiga Premier League dengan 44 poin Sedangkan kita masih berada di peringkat ketujuh dengan 31 poin Tapi kita dalam track record yang bagus yaitu dari 9 pertandingan terakhir kita belum terkalahkan dan kita akan away ke markas Manchester City dengan membawa hasil dari 9 pertandingan belum terkalahkan dan semoga rekor itu akan terus berlanjut sampai kita nanti melawan Liverpool yang artinya at least kita bisa dapat satu poin di markasnya Manchester City dan jadi untuk starting line nya juga aku udah siapin pemain-pemain terkuat kita karena kita mengistirahatkan Pemain-pemain terkuat kita pada pertandingan sebelumnya Sebelum pertandingan lawan City Jadi ini City ketemu City, Manchester dan Leicester Dan so jadi langsung aja kita masuk ke pertandingan antara Manchester City Berhadapan melawan Leicester City This is the Etihad Stadium where Manchester City have had so much success in recent seasons. Alan Smith alongside me, Martin Tyler. Premier League football we have for you. It's coming right up. Manchester City against Leicester City. Yeah, real buzz around this ground. Full house. A lot of interest in it. Hope it doesn't disappoint. Number 14. What do you expect of this comparison, Alan? Raheem Sterling against Gareth Bale. I'm sure both teams have spoken about these two strikers and how do we stop them because with four goals in the last three games, they are the danger men. Number 10, Sergio Aguero. And number 7, Raheem Sterling. Several changes for Manchester City. The goalkeeper is Edison. John Stone starts with Imeric Laporte as the centre-backs. Hakim Ziyech plays with Rodri in the middle of midfield. In attack, Sergio Aguero starts his fit again. This is the Leicester City lineup. Kasper Schmeichel starts in goal. Yuri Tielemans plays alongside James Madison in midfield. In attack, Jamie Vardy starts. He's been in tremendous form recently. Game's underway here. Manchester City having kicked off. Aguero. Well, now they've got the ball, what are they going to do with it? It's Gray. Vardy. That's one way out of that situation with a back heel, but the opposition saw it coming. They can be quick on the break now. Bernardo Silva. A couple of teammates up in support. Defender did well to get to it, but hasn't really finished the job. Part of the plan here to try and recover it. Ziyech! Side given against Sergio Aguero. (laughs) 
Alan McAnally is at Goodison Park today and he's got news of a goal. It's a goal for Arsenal. It's been scored by Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. An amazing bend on the ball left the keeper helpless. Unstoppable. Seven minutes played, 1-0. Right on the spot there for that story, Alan McAnally, of course. Well, maybe the counter-attack is on here. Left the defenders trailing now. Here's a chance. Good tackle. Will be a corner, though. Corner played into the middle. Big swing at it. With the fist of the keeper. Trying to get behind the defenders to get in a good cross. It's a shot. And now the goalkeeper can maybe think about starting an attack. Well, looking at the table, the Wolverhampton Wanderers fans are delighted with the way their team are playing. I think it's above their expectations for the club. Well, heady times for this football club in a Champions League position at this stage. Who would have thought that? It's going to be fascinating to see if they can keep it up. A lot of football still to be played. Manchester City have a corner. And in it goes. All peters out, rather, for them. Brady. Good, clean tackle. Chance to get forward from the wing. Really in the clear now. Got to keep his nerve here. That's even better play to stop the chance. Here's Sterling. This does look promising. Maybe he'll cross it here. Well, it was considered controlled attacking play, but it's come to nothing in the end. A chance to break away now on the counter. An incisive pass. The referee's going to take action here. For Manchester City, a little blot on their record today. A yellow card for their man. Yeah, I think he'll take that under the circumstances. It's a clear foul from that sliding challenge. Well, one or two people in the crowd howling for him to be punished for that. Certainly didn't get the ball. He's normally good from these set plays and uh, his teammates are expecting a good ball in. They've got the ball back by that interception. See edge. And the ball played to Mendy. Now he wants to take them on. Here's David Silva. David Silva! And Manchester City have broken through here. Well deserved. Keeper, no chance. For David Silva, a superb goal. He can score as well as create. Oh, he's a wonderful little technician. You just cannot leave him for one second another angle on it here well it's Manchester City in front Manchester City number 21 David Silva James Madison Chilwell. I wonder whether it will be a happy birthday for him. I think the result's going to decide that. Here's Sterling. Good one-on-one -on -one defending with the tackle. Got the ball, and they're going at the opposition with speed. Good vision here. And this could bring them level. And it does! Important point in the game. Well, what a game-changer that might be. And I think the momentum's just shifted. Well, we see it again, how close it was to maybe hitting the post and staying out. But luck was with him. In it goes, it counts. Now, I think the goalkeeper thought he got his angles covered there. But uh, he didn't look too pleased when it rebounded in.
So away we go at one all. That's the city goal. Let's hear from Alan McAnally about a goal in the West Ham match. It's a second goal for Liverpool. It's been scored by Roberto Firmino. The defence failed to clear after the set piece. The ball came back into the box and he got on the end of it. 36 minutes played. 2-0. Thanks, Alan. And out wide, they were in a good position until that defender acted very promptly and decisively. He's made the interception. City boss in this in terms of control in possession, but they have been a bit disappointing so far in the way that they've gone about the business. I don't know if they've taken it a little bit easy. They were expecting to win this. I was expecting them to. Still got a good chance of doing that, but they've got to be better than so far. Mendy. Here's Sterling. It's Aguero. Tried to tackle here, and he's done that. The referee's had a good look and decided what he's seen from this uh, period of play to add on three minutes. Madison probing away, working away at the opposition with these passes. Gray. Darting infield now. Well, the referee is blown for half-time at 1-1. How did you rate Gareth Bale's first half? Yeah, he stepped up to the mark in that first half, just when his team needed him, just when they were searching for an equaliser. Interesting to see how the second half pans out now. And they kick off at the start of the second half. Gareth Bale's often used the wide areas to great effect. Pass one. Could whip it in from here. He's chosen to cut it back now. And there's a score here. And that has significance because they're now into the lead. This is when it's tough being a goalkeeper. A little bit more on it, and it would have been a very fine save. As it is, he's picking the ball out of the net. Yeah, he sets high standards, this lad, and I think he's just dropped below those. Manchester City are trailing now. They've got to try and hit back. Joao Cancelo, Silva, and the home side will play again in the Premier League. This is their next fixture. You'll see it with us on EA Sports. Ziyech, City are back on level terms. They just weren't having it, were they, those City players? What's gone wrong here, Alan? Losing concentration after scoring a goal themselves? Yeah, I just don't think they got back into their shape. Still thinking about that goal, and they've been made to pay for it. Brilliant entertainment. The scores are level again. Very tight affair here. How about Leicester City's next game, Alan? They're playing Liverpool in the next match, and uh, judging what we've seen so far this season, it will be tight. Now, can he take them on? Buddy! And that shot's blocked very quickly. Corner. And here's a possibility of making a chance to go in front. News at Everton from Alan McAnally. A goal, I believe. It's a second goal for Arsenal. 55 minutes played. 2-0. Thanks, Alan. Spotted that well and intercepted. Shot on. Shot blocked here. 
It's Bernardo Silva. João Cancelo. Mertens. Was clipped in over the top. Mertens can put them in front here. Keeper controls it. Never looked like bouncing off him. They made it look easy, but his positioning did that for him. Break quickly when they get possession. Madison blocked off the pass there. Mertens. Sterling. Now he could play it into the danger area. Taking on the defenders. It's a good piece of defending to stop the supply into the centre. Oh, it could be dangerous. James Madison. The goal. London Stadium, the venue. Alan McAnally, the reporter. It's another goal for Liverpool. 67 minutes played. 4 0. Eagle eyes as a probing the pass. Just a quick check on the clock, and there are 20 minutes to go. Gray. He fancies his chances. This might be it! Chance taken. Goal. They're in front. And he knew exactly where the keeper was there. He knew he didn't have to hit it particularly hard, you know. Manchester City are trailing now, they've got to try and hit back. City goal, number seven, Yamari Gray. Leicester ready to make this change. The hosts have controlled possession here so far. They haven't been themselves, I don't think, when it comes to going forward and creating. And this could bring them level. And it does. Important point in the game. Oh, what a game changer that might be. And I think the momentum's just shifted. That was a top-class goal. It's come in from a long way out, and from that angle, it's not always easy to finish. Defenders caught out by it in the end, and that's a goal well worth analysing again. Extraordinary game goal here, two very well-matched teams, nine, and they're trading goal for goal in the game. Fans. Substitute for Manchester City. Let's get across to Goodison Park and Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Everton. 79 minutes played. 2 1. Thanks, Alan. Mertens intercepted well. He's got skill with the ball, backing himself in these circumstances. They pressed well, and now they might be in. He's got it away. Well, the clock's showing and nine minutes left to play. Well, if the City players have got as much faith as these fans, they are going to find a winner. Well, they're getting the ball forward. They need to do that. Well, one pass away from being a great move. Sterling. Gets in the way of it. The defender. Silva. Well, the interception there is a good one. In fact, it's a great one because they could have scored... That absolutely vital goal from that attack. On the move and able to cut out the pass. I trust his goalkeeper's footwork here with a back pass. 
Joao Cancelo. Now Bernardo Silva. John Stones. And still a chance for something to happen because there's three added minutes. Taking on the defenders. Oh, he's totally, totally done the defender. He's blocked the shot well. Well, they thought they were in for the winner there until that marvellous interception. Final whistle, and it's finished level here. Well, this game's finished with one point. Some reward for considerable efforts today. I don't think they particularly deserve to win this match today, but it might just be an important point in the shake-up. Who knows? So, you yeah, did the full-time whistle, di mana hasil imbang mewarnai jalannya pertandingan di Etihad Stadium. Skor tiga sama menjadi hasil akhir dan kedua tim harus puas berbagi. Poin satu dan gol terakhir dari Manchester City yang dicetak oleh Dres Mertens di menit ke-76 itu yang jadi gol kontroversial sih karena si siapa ya pemain yang asis pokoknya pemain City yang asis Dres Mertens itu melakukan pelanggaran yang keras ke Van de Berg jadi bola dapat dia terus dia kasih ke Dres Mertens dan jadilah gol itu yang harusnya bisa jadi kartu bahkan tapi ya hasil yang enggak buruk sih sebenarnya tapi kita layak sangat layak menang dengan kontroversi dari wasit yang begitu merugikan kita padahal kita diambang meraih tiga poin kalau enggak kebobolan dengan cara yang seperti tadi golnya Dres Mertens itu sangat enggak banget sih kalau mau lihat mungkin chat lihat aja di menit ke berapa tadi si Dres Mertens cetak gol 72 kalau nggak salah dan so jadi kita akan masuk ke sesi press conference terus setelah hasil imbang melawan Manchester City di Etihad Stadium. Uh, just a moment of your time. No further questions. Thanks so much. So, jadi itu dia full match ya tanpa cut. Sekarang sudah masuk ke menit ke-23 dan di episode selanjutnya kita akan berhadapan melawan tim yang lebih kuat lagi Liverpool seperti yang udah aku tampilkan di awal-awal video bahwa Liverpool sejatinya peringkatnya lebih tinggi dari si Manchester City dengan belum terkalahkan kalau Manchester City sudah terkalahkan satu kali dan so jadi ini dia pada tanggal 26 Desember kita akan memainkan pertandingan lawan Liverpool dan untungnya di pertandingan kali ini kita akan bermain di King Power Stadium atau markas kita dan oke okay, jadi mungkin itu aja dulu untuk episode kali ini dari series Leicester City Carmel FIFA 20 kita dan akan kita lanjutkan lagi series ini di pertandingan melawan Liverpool tepat di King Power Stadium dan oke okay, jadi so sampai jumpa di video selanjutnya dan see you next time